I was going for a walk just now, and a girl standing outside a bar yelled you you're so ugly, kill yourself loud enough for people to turn around and stare. What's the most unwarranted rudeness you've ever witnessed experienced, Reddit? As a freshman I had a crush on a guy named Joe. Joe was never mean to me directly, but all of his friends would make nasty comments about how I was fat, ugly, covered in acne because I didn't shower. I used to go home crying. Fast forward 7 years later, he sees me at a store we chat for a bit, he's still cute until this little gem came out of his mouth. No offense, but you really outgrew your ugly face. We used to make fun of you all the time. How things change. So, wanna get dinner sometime I said sure, arranged the date, and never showed up. No offense, but I wouldn't be caught dead with you. Butthole. He clearly did not outgrow his ugly face. I was walking through a San Luis Obispo on a warm spring day. The sun was out. The birds were chirping. There were a group of cute girls wearing sundresses walking in front of me. A truck full of guys drive up next to the girls. Stare at them for a minute. Then a hand came out and dropped the biggest thumbs down ever on them. It was brutal. No, it's okay. See it's a common misconception. But the thumbs down actually meant the competitor was allowed to live. Sasar truck guy was sparing her life. I was out for a walk with my 3 month old baby strapped to my front. A middle class, middle aged woman passed me in her car. Screeched to a halt. Ran up to me. Pushed me and my baby over. Then shouted down at me. I'm sick of you. Clean up after your ugly freaking dog. You freaking see. What dog? The cops got her plate number. We'll see where this goes. I was very unpopular at my junior school, so my mother decided to transfer me to a private school. I must have been about 7. When the teacher announced to the class that I would shortly be leaving the school, every single person in the class stood up and clapped and cheered. I sat there wishing the earth would swallow me up. Please tell me the teacher did something. I lived above a bar and while walking to my car in the parking deck, which was attached to the apartment building. I saw a blonde sorority girl yelling and trying to fight this couple of girls. They were asking her to stop and leave them alone. She kept yelling and calling them ugly skanks. Out of freaking nowhere comes a cop to calm this girl down. She sees him and yells out crap it's the fuzz. Cheese it. I laughed so hard at that and the cop did too. Things to do. 1. Bend. 2. Cheese it. Had a similar experience where I was walking past a big group of people around my age and one of them said, loud enough for me to hear, I'm so glad I don't look like that makes me appreciate life. The rest of the group nodded and agreed. I know the feel bro. 3. How mean. I was a college freshman in a co-ed dorm and I was walking through a connector to get to a soda machine when one fella elbows his buddy and says, I wouldn't frick that with your dong. Hope you said I wouldn't frick you with his either. What a C. I was once hit by a car turning illegally. Broke my leg. The driver proceeded to flip me the bird. Yell get out of the fricking way dipshit and sped off. We never found the guy. I was about 15 or 16 and I had really bad acne. I was at a party I was talking to some girls because... Well, that's what 15 or 16 year old guys do. Then this girl who was sort of quiet just said ever heard of acne cream. Freak the girls all laughed and I just walked off. Feeling defeated. Wasn't any fun. I had tried a few different things that the pharmacist had recommended. But didn't really see any success. Then I went to the dermatologist and got some Rokitane. Now I'm fabulous. She was probably an angry drunk. I'm sorry that happened. One time my mom and I were driving through my condo parking lot. We went around a corner and this lady was driving at us head on. We were far over to the right as we could go. For a minute it was like a game of chicken until the lady got back over to her side and passed us yelling frick you. You stupid be my poor sweet mother. Was having a huge, awesome party in my house in college and some dumb bee said basically the same thing to me having no idea it was my house told her to get the frick out of my house and she laughed at me so I just started shoving her backwards toward the door. As a hot girl, this caught her off guard because she probably wasn't very accustomed to facing the repercussions for being cunty. I was pretty liquored up and short on patience so I just gave no fricks. Every time she would just about catch her balance I would shove her again. 
told my friends at the door not to let her back in because she was a freaking bee that we had no need for. Her friends made a huge stink so we kicked them out too while about 30 people laughed at them. A moment of shame was transformed into a moment of triumph largely by my cool friends who had my back. That's pretty smart. Teaching her that being a C gets you consequences in the real world. Good on you. In college, had a drunk girl get on the elevator with one of her friends. She looked at me and started saying ching chong ching chong with her eyes slitted. Then she said that's you. I calmly looked at her and brought my hand up to my mouth fingers curled as if grasping something. Then proceeded to do the BJ gesture that everyone is familiar with. Then replied with that's you. She was livid and started screaming at me about how I'm a butthole. Her tirade culminated when I was getting out of the elevator. When she screamed frick you at this point I turned towards the closing elevator door and said I'd be bored. You'd be tired. The doors closed to her final inarticulate scream of rage. I felt pretty pleased with how the encounter finished. That is awesome. I work in a grocery store in the produce department. A couple weeks ago I was stacking some bananas when a girl walks in scoffs your bananas are gross and walks away my bananas were highly offended there are a lot of sad stories in this thread but this one hit me the hardest internet hugs i was a sophomore in high school when the 9 11 attacks happened i was in second period english class when another teacher came into our room and told ours to turn the tv on the first tower had already been hit smoke and fire billowing from the top we spent the rest of class watching history unfold. All of us were confused and frightened and unsure of everything about the future in front of us. The talking heads on the television were already telling us that it was most likely a terrorist attack. Muslim fundamentalists. The bell rang and I stepped out into the hall. My head down. Still in shock. I wasn't but two or three steps out of the door when I was violently shoved into a locker by a large senior varsity athlete. He had one hand in my chest and his other one in my face, pointing a finger straight at me. Your people did this, he said before pushing off of me and stomping away. I'm half Filipino and half German. I cried. On my way back from school I had some guys in a car shout out of their car window that I looked like an orangutan. I go to school in a very posh area and I'm pretty much the token black girl in the entire town. It hurt and I cried. I think taking some action at times like these is all that needs to be done. I think about situations similar where I have been called a terrorist, and it hurt like heck every single time, and stuck in my mind, and played again and again. If there is some sort of response that is a perfect answer, that can be said. I believe it would free us from thinking about it later. I have a Pomeranian Papillion mix, so essentially I own a mutt. Well one day I was taking my dog for his daily walk when a lady approaches me and asks what breed my dog is. I proceed to tell her and she gets the most disgusted look on her face. Then she begins to rant on about how I'm a disgrace to society for owning a dog that is not purebred and how it's people like me who make the world a bad place. After walking away, still ranting on from down the street, I was left standing there simply speechless. I said nothing more than what breed my dog was and received a rant completely out of proportion. Took my sister out to a local pub and some random dong who was completely wasted came up to her and said something along the lines of I bet you think you're attractive, but you're really not. She got really upset about it and when I yelled at him and told him it was completely uncalled for and horrible to say something like that to someone he doesn't even know, all he could come up with is hey I I, I don't even understand half of the words you're using. I threw the rest of my drink down the back of his neck. He was obviously a complete moron but my sister hasn't really gone out for a drink anywhere since then and told me the other day that she still thinks about it sometimes. I wish I remembered his face so I could punch it if I ever saw it again. You're a good sibling. Don't let other people get you down like that. They don't know you. As for me, I work in customer service. My life is one big ball of rude. I'm always extra nice to you guys to compensate for the buttholes as much as I can. Usually say something corny that makes them laugh or say bye in a happier tone. I didn't experience or witness it, but I thought it was relevant. My friend, Charlie, got a broken rib when his girlfriend kicked him in the side while he was sleeping. When he asked her why she did that she replied, you cheated on me. He had never done so and later found out that she had had a dream in which he cheated on her. 
Back in high school we had to do a presentation on a certain character from the Canterbury Tales that our teacher chose for us. She made us choose partners so I picked the one guy that everybody hated because I felt bad for him for not having a partner. Fast forward to the presentation. My partner talked about his character of how charming, rich, and skinny that person was. Then he pointed me out and said unlike my feels here, everybody loudly laughed at me for a good 2 minutes which felt like an eternity. I didn't know what was going on. I wanted to cry and beat the crap out of him because I was very depressed. Heavy, have a bad case of acne scar at the time. Yeah, I know how it feels to be shitted on. I know how that feels. I continuously tried to be nice to this guy that everyone hated just because I felt pity for him. It only made me realize why exactly he was hated so much. I ended up slapping him in the end, so worth it. I'm quite a skinny teenager, 17 years and I remember this one time I was getting the train to Brighton. This story takes place in the UK, and there were these bunch of girls to my left, who kept glancing over and giggling when I looked at them. Just before anything interesting happened, an old man, who looked like he was struggling a bit, walked my way. I gave up my seat for him seeing as he was having a bit of trouble walking. Being a teenage boy I thought this was because they found me attractive or liked me in some way. I chose not to do anything about it because they didn't look that attractive to me even though they were quite pretty. I glance over again because I hear them giggling again and I see one of the girls leave the group and walk towards me. Looking back at her friends causing them to giggle and look my way. She was a bit bubbly but I didn't care as she looked pretty nevertheless. At this point I was thinking that she was going to give me her number or try to talk to me because she liked me in some way. She walks up to me and before she talks to me she looks back at her friends one more time, which causes them to giggle again and her to smile. So I thought oh she must like me. Girls act like that when talking to someone they like. The old man looked at me as if to say she looks like she likes you. Then she opened her mouth to say, something I didn't expect. Hey my friends were just saying, you look skinny enough to be a holocaust victim. Are you sure you should be outside when you look that bad? What? Since when did girls my age have an interest in history? The old man's face just dropped. I thought of a comeback almost instantly. Well thanks. I'm naturally skinny. It's a shame you're not because at the rate you're going you might need to take up more than one seat. Her expression changed from smugness to shock. W what do you mean? Well I'm just saying that you could probably lose a few pounds to prevent the embarrassment of going outside. She suddenly burst into tears, as if someone turned on a tap, and ran towards the exit of the platform. It was a bit awkward as the sight of a girl running away crying caught the attention of the people waiting for their train. The girl's friends group were soon to follow as they tried to calm her down he didn't mean it you're not fat. Calling me words like bastard and tea they left the platform themselves. For a moment there was silence. People were looking at me. Some with the look of disgust on their face. I looked at the old man and he looked at me and said. I thought you handled that quite well. TL. DR. Girl insults me. I make her cry. A couple months ago I was walking to class. And this thuggish guy walking with his two friends in my direction stopped and exclaimed whoa. Hold up guys. Looks like we got an alien face here what he said didn't bother me. I take pride that I have unusual features. What bothered me was that he said this to deliberately be hurtful to someone. I pity those who need to put others down in order to feel like a worthy human being. I was at Capital X. A fair in Edmonton. This past weekend and met one of my first and closest friends with his sisters that I haven't seen in a few years. His older sister turned and looked past me at my younger brother and said, Is that Ethan oh my god. He is so fat and continued to laugh her tea off. My little brother is incredibly insecure about his weight. Needless to say, I lost all respect for her. I was in the cereal aisle, grabbing a box of start. A lass says to me, aren't you a bit too fat to be getting that kind of thing? I was 18 and worked on the checkouts at the local supermarket. A man asked me what I was doing. I told him I was at university doing a degree in digital media art as I wanted to be a web designer. He looked at me and completely serious said ha, huh, you will never get a job in that, what a waste of time. Some humans are buttholes. I got a job doing web design. P is not web design, but you're a hero nonetheless. I was in that awkward phase of middle school that 99% of people go through. 
frizzy hair, acne, wicked social anxiety, sitting at my desk minding my own business when this guy Adam walks up to me, I had never talked to him before and everyone had a huge crush on him, me included, he leans down to my desk and says do you think you're pretty, pale mare, I didn't know what to say and I was super nervous, so I basically stuttered out a quiet I don't know and just looked down at my desk, so he says well and I look up, and he continues you're freaking ugly, and he just walks away and everyone laughs. I went to the bathroom and cried until this nice girl who had been observing for college credit came in to comfort me. About 6-7 years ago, about age 18, I was in a bar with some friends after a private party. I, at this point, had quite long hair for a guy, about nipple length. In that bar, I got spat on, tripped up and finally beaten up in the restroom. The bartender laughed when I complained to him, even though I'd known him and his younger brother for years and the security dude wrenched my arm behind my back and bodily threw me out for complaining. I had done literally nothing to deserve this except for having long hair. As sorry as I am for what they did to you. All I could think of after you said Perka was the Danish equivalent of Paki was Ermagerd. Perka Stern. I used to work at Target and a lady wouldn't let me ring her up because I have snake bites. She had all her crap on the belt and took one look at me and took her crap to another register. As I looked at her in confusion, she pointed to my lips and said that's disgusting I can't let you help me. So odd. Am I the only one here that thinks you should have been in a hospital instead of working? Snake bites are the leading cause of death in third world countries. Take out your phone, make a picture, or even pretend to, and keep on walking. She will spend the rest of her day wondering what you do with it. Or she tries to get physical, which is a great excuse to give her a nose job. Finally my time to shine. In a sad way, when I was about 12 or 13, I had just woken up from a nap after school. I walk into the living room and see my mom clicking on the phone to her friend. I hear her then say, without noticing me, since her back was to me, I know he doesn't look the way I had wanted, but he's a good son and he does really well in school. I went back into my room and cried for an hour, then afterwards aimed back out and pretended I didn't hear her. When I was a sophomore in high school, one of my teachers rearranged all the desks in the class so that they were in rows, facing each other. Our teacher joked that me and the girl across from me would make a terribly cute couple. She responded with EW, number, number, just you, number I cried the minute I got home from school. I still die a little on the inside every time I think of that. When I was a freshman in college, a kid, who I considered ugly myself, but was nice enough not to say anything to, told me, in a very malicious way, that I looked like I had been beaten with an ugly stick, right after I fell out of the ugly tree, and hit every branch on the way down with my face. I shrugged it off at the moment cause the guy was a butthole, but once I got back to my dorm I cried. WHWN I was a sophomore in college I walked down the hallway of my dorm without a shirt on, because this is America goddamn it, to go to the bathroom. One of the guys on my door had a couple girls over and they were talking about trying to find the one girl a boyfriend. As I walked past the one girl bitchily said there's a man for you. The boyfriendless girl then made a sound similar to the sound people who are choking and trying not to throw up make. Once again, made me cry. These are just four of the ones that stick in my head. I get this crap all the time and it's always unwarranted. My boyfriend gets that sometimes. Yes, boyfriend. So the guy gets girls even though he is considered ugly by many people, including me at first. But he's so awesome that now I think he's the handsomest man on the planet. So frick the people who say mean things to you. You're gonna blow someone's mind one day. I freaking promise. I was taking a girl to go get some food late at night and we were driving up the front of Kroger. I was going to drop her off so she could buy healthy crap. When another car turned into our lane. The parking lots at Kroger's don't have arrows for which direction each lane should head as their parking spaces are all even instead of angled and there was plenty of room for both cars when out of nowhere the girl just rolls down the window and yells and needs to learn how to drive at the black driver and passenger of the other car. When I gave her the what the frick look and asked her why she had done that she goes oh, that was me smiled and got out of my car like nothing had happened. I hope you drove off. 
I once bent over to grab something I dropped off of the floor, and my classmate behind me said EWW, don't bend over again with a disgusted face. Presumably my butt was too ugly for him? I don't know. I was about 4 feet away from him and in jeans. It wasn't like I was booty popping in his face. I was around 9 or 10 and I was at deep river water in Indiana. I was in line for the really tall and steep slide and I was eye level with the top platform when this younger girl taps her friend on the shoulder, points to me, and kicks the ground water into my face. I don't know why I deserved it but I shake my fist every time I tell the story. I still remember that smug face too. A few months ago I was working the bar at my restaurant. It was late. The only guy there was a regular. My restaurant is inside a hotel. So this guy comes down from his room to ask me to open a bottle for him. Edit. He did not buy this bottle from me. The regular. A really awesome army guy who had just gotten back from Afghanistan. Attempts to tell the guy how to knock off the bottle cap on the edge of a desk. Dude stops him mid-sentence saying, Yeah, I don't give a crap. I quickly jerked my bottle opener away and told the guy good luck. Instant karma. It's also a great way of damaging hotel furniture. I was about 13 or 14. In French class and a substitute teacher split the class into groups of two to work on a project. As a socially awkward penguin who didn't have many friends I was the last to be picked and as there was an odd number of people in the class, there was nobody to partner up with me. At this point I'm feeling pretty crappy about myself as I normally did when we had to group off but after going through that tired routine of telling the teacher nobody wanted to partner with me the, the teacher then said something along the lines of, well nobody wants to partner with you anyway, and I just lost it and tid up right there. Then left the room crying. I know it sounds silly, but sometimes the event still haunts me today. That teacher sounds like a piece of crap. I was dropping something off for someone I know who I am was sort of friends with, and her little dog that I love to pet proceeded to hump my leg. She goes oh no puppy he is too ugly for you in all seriousness. She is Asian and they are brutally honest in my experience. She wasn't joking. I am too ugly to be leg fricked by her dog. I left and went searching for tall buildings with easy roof access. She is Asian and they are brutally honest in my experience. Right. It is written in our genetic code. Slanty eyes and brutal honesty. I used to wear a yamakota from school. On my way home two butt hats saw me and started yelling Heil Hitler and throwing Nazi salutes at me. There was also a time I went on a date with a girl. After the first date they said I don't think I can keep seeing you because you're going to heck. Or there was a time where a lady I was interested in asked me what I did. I answered I make video games. They say how do you feel about corrupting the youth of America? I was on my way to pick up my date to go watch a movie. When I went to go knock on the door, her little sister showed up and decided to blurt out your ugly thanks. That was definitely necessary. I used to work at a drug store as a photo clerk for a while, and I'd get all kinds of men asking me what my ethnicity was. Fairly often, one guy, who turns out was older than my dad, came up and asked me what I was, then asked me how old I was. I tried to stop the conversation by telling him that I found it to be inappropriate as I was working, so he called me a bee and said I wasn't that cute anyway. He then demanded to know where the belts were located. Alright then. I was once called anorexic and told to eat a burger by a complete stranger that was behind me in line. The irony? I was in line at McDonald's. I don't understand how people think it's okay to bully skinny people. I know many people who are naturally skinny and they could eat till they explode but not gain any weight. Skinny does not equal anorexia. It's not okay to bully fat or skinny people. Ever. You should have looked back at them all and said, well. She can't be talking about Emmy because I look fabulous then strut away like you don't give a crap while muttering something about crazy B must be looking in a mirror etc. etc. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.